Hello fuckers, welcome to another episode of Sloss and Humphreys on the road. Uh, this episode there is no Humphreys, uh, it is Sloss and Wool, as in Glen Wool, the great great Glen Wool. Anyway, it's a very funny episode with me and Glenn. very very funny. We do not uh, talk about uh, my nuptials at all, really. Uh, we say many many horrible bits, many many funny bits. Uh, we talk about comedy in Canada. Uh, we talk about uh, vasectomies, and we riff heaps, and I, I laughed fucking loads, like a lot, like way more than I do with Kai, so good episode to tune in on. Sloss and Humphreys on the road. Muggins and cream, cream and muggins, straight thugging, living the dream. And that's our intro. Fucking muggles. Tickling the clit inside your head that makes you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they said it can't be done. There we go. Are you... Worried about AI and stand up? No. Right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Actually, AI is making us more valuable. Yeah. Go on. Well, because you, it's the one thing it can't do. It can't write a joke, which, I mean, it won't stop it from having a career in comedy. As because the because World Festival has taught us anything. Yeah. Because what AI can do is it can steal jokes. Yeah. And there are plenty of comedians who have made careers out of doing that. Like our friend said one thing, because I've said for so long when people are talking about AI, I'm like, don't get me wrong, so much of AI is terrifying and scary and the potential is like apocalyptic and it's all very interesting and exciting, but also whatever. Career-wise, it is, I'll confidently say, it is not fucking touching me in the sense that I've, and I've always said that. So our friend sent through this thing yesterday when AI had written, you know, 10 jokes in the style of Ryan Cullen, right? Okay. And they were dark jokes. And I would say at least six of them were really, really funny. But they also were not jokes written by the computer. They were the AI going through Google, finding out who Ryan Cullen was, and then working out that he does dark comedy, and then just finding dark jokes from Reddit, 4chan, fucking wherever, compiling those into a list. And okay. putting it out. So, so it was a very good search Super engine. Super Google. Yes. Aye. All right. So yeah. it's not as impressive. It's not yeah. as, yeah. It's never going to be able to, you know, I don't know, tell a... Tell a story. I don't think it'll be able to create something. It'll be able to amalgamate, but without ever. But then again, do people care? I think you would. I mean, half of the, well, you know, like like in like Edinburgh shows at the forty five minute mark. Yeah, um, where everybody tells a fucking harrowing tale of their aunt's hysterectomy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I mean, you are talking to the king of that. That's right. <laughs> Right. Lighting change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that is that sax I hear in the background? <laughs> oh, I remember five minutes in he said his dead father played sax. Mm. Oh, it's a musical call. <laughs> AI could definitely write a fringe yeah, show. Yeah, just take a you know, like a, a wheel of uh, relative <laughs> and then yeah, 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 yeah. a bunch of maladies spinning around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my second cousin has worms. Oh, God. <laughs> and the title is a pun or a quote. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think uh, I, I think they'd be telling the first time AA won an award. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, yeah, I think it would be able to, uh, in the same way that, like, I think it would be able to, like, write episodes of Friends. And oh, I think, yeah. I think it would write, and I'm, I think it would write episode of Friends that I would enjoy. Like, I don't know if I would be able to do this. Part of me believes it wouldn't be able to do South Park, and I don't mean that as any like fucking slant. No, talk. but I mean, it, but that's not even a slide on AI or Friends. Like, um, I think you watch different sorts of entertainment for different reasons. And I remember when I first watched The Office, I thought it was so funny, and I just I couldn't believe how good it was. And my wife at the time who worked in an office, was like, no, we're not going to watch that. And I'm like, but it's such a representation. She's like, yeah, it is. And I just came home from an office. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, what part of this is escapism to yeah. you? 
I'm now with the comedian yeah. who wants to watch an office. Well, yeah. I've got a better idea yeah. for you. Why don't you go work in an office? <laughs> yeah. Get off your lazy ass. Yeah. It's not like you come over work and tell me jokes all the other way you do do that, you annoying no. piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> and critique the jokes on the television, <laughs> yeah. on the TV show that yeah. she just wants to relax and watch. Oh, that's the third iteration of that joke yeah. I've heard. Okay, yeah. here comes a catchphrase. Look, <laughs> if you hate the show too much, if you hate the show so much, you don't get to point out background characters that you've gigged with, okay? <laughs> it's it's one or the other, right? You can't be proud of it and then pissing on it the second. Yeah. Well, and that's that's the way you know you're getting older too. The people that you know off the telly are slowly changing from characters on sitcoms to the fucking cheese guy in the nacho <laughs> commercial. <laughs> oh yeah, I worked with him. Yeah, he was he was closing it up. Uh, <laughs> I think we all had the same reaction the first time we saw Tim Fitzsiam coming out of the ground. <laughs> in that, in that, I don't even know what it's advertising. But I remember I physically grabbed Cara. I went, it's Tim. She's never met Tim. <laughs> yeah, oh, you've but just... I've known Tim since I was 16. I'm like, it's Tim. Yeah. No, it looks like you're naming the people on the ads. I, I think I'll call that one Tim. <laughs> She's like, God, he's finally snapped. Yeah. He's finally snapped. And not a second too late. <laughs> um, you realize I it's it's into it's into gay. Okay, size. good. <laughs> I thought that was a way of telling me you got a divorce. <laughs> that is second to me. Back on the market. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Like the guy that wrote Jigsaw divorced within literally a week, a week and a day of getting married. No, yeah. no. I took it to get resized. Jigsaw part two. <laughs> Yeah. The, Fetch me my quill. <laughs> AI. AI. <laughs> I have a conundrum for you. <laughs> it's time to be rich and sad again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, I, I got my wedding resized because when when we were doing, we did Scottish country dancing at our wedding. We did like a Kaylee and... Halfway through dancing with my wife of three hours, afterwards we all separate. I have to go up to her within three hours of being married and say the words to her. Have you seen my wedding ring? <laughs> right, and this is what I know. Like, yes, Daniel, we've all seen it. <laughs> I put it's it very on. Very <laughs> expensive, we know. <laughs> uh, um, it's I. I it's a testament to how much she loves me, and it's, it's a sign of us. Like, I'm definitely with the right person, because I just, like, sheepishly went over, I'm like, I'm really sorry to do this three hours in, but have you seen my wedding ring? And she just went, no, but I'll help you look. <laughs> she just, like, lifts up her dress, and we all walk around. And we was fine within two minutes. I'd come off and gone under, the, under a chair. And then I lost it a second time. Nine hours later, it was about two in the morning, and... I look at my hand and it's not there. And I'm, I, I turn to Soraya and I go, fuck, fuck, I've done it again. I can't tell Sakara I've lost it again. And Soraya is, she's there. She's like, we'll do it Sally. We'll be good. I'll pass the message around. Everyone apart from Kara will be looking on the floor for it. We fucking got this. I'm like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I clasp her hands. <laughs> she brings my right hand up. She goes, you put it on the wrong hand, you stupid cunt. <laughs> <laughs> So. It's it's German. So we do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scene that lets them know I'm not a Nazi. <laughs> I do three wrong and glorious bastards. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just get a big bag of them. That's what I'd say. That's an old rock, old road comic trick. I have a friend who does that. Yeah. He, the, he has like three or four uh, replica rings. Because man, I just, I'm like you. I just got a fucking, uh, just a fucking metal one, like something yeah. that's quite easy to. Metal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For those not watching, on, it does make it sound like it's gonna be a big fucking skull ring. Um, uh, we. Uh, we, uh, we, when we got ours uh, measured, I, I think I was when I put when, when, when we I was think I was a, I was a chubbier boy, and that's why I've had to have them resized. And what really threw the woman? So I'm in there getting resized. Um, one of our friends joins us. It's Ian Sterling, the voice of Love Island. Yeah, is that how he introduces himself? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, no, but it is how I introduce him when people don't recognise me. Oh, right. <laughs> well, no, because he sat down and I'm like, I really hope, I really hope she thinks this is a gay marriage. Because if people ever, I don't know about you, but if people ever assume I'm gay, I take it as like kind of a compliment sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I have been working out. Yeah. And like, okay, I did do something right with my hair this morning. <laughs> like, and if I'm... If I'm in there getting my rig resized to my beautiful wife, who I love very much, and I'm there with Ian Sterling, and she thinks we're gay, I think Ian Sterling's quite a handsome man. If I could get him, like, I'd take all of that as a... They might misunderstand what you're getting your ring resized was, too. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get my ring resized. Yeah, the dude. voice of Love Island last night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, really? yeah, yeah. You don't need to go to a jeweler's then. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go a couple of doors down. <laughs> um... And you get to be a bottom in the story. So yeah. <laughs> do you think? Do you think Ian would top me? I don't know what the rules are anymore. No, I th- I think. Well, I think if I was to, if I was to ever be gay, I think I would I would leave up to if if both of us didn't have a preference or if we both had the same preference, I think you would have to leave it down to wrestling. Yeah. You, you, yeah, I think. Well, I think that's how how it started. It's just, <laughs> yeah. it's just wrestling that got out of hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I I did have a. Like I think, um, as as it's uh, as uh, the gay lifestyle is more and more accepted, and it's just not an issue. Fuck wrestling could get into the Olympics. Fuck wrestling well, could get in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah. Because that's because that's what the Olympics originally was. I know. That's why the Greeks were doing it. Yeah, yeah. What's this pinning? Like one, two, three. No, no. It no. was pinning down little boys. Insertion. Getting on, yeah, getting on top. One for three. Yeah. Yeah. Spreading yourself out on top. They were doing it all in the nude. I'm pretty sure the original Olympics were all in the fucking nude. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's why they all have their cocks out in the statues, right? That's that wasn't right. just like an artistic choice. That was uh, the story they came up with when they got caught in the woods <laughs> what no uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a contest yeah uh i i i see how far i can hurl my length of rod uh, <laughs> and he sees how small of a hole yeah he can get this thing into well it looks like you guys have been having a party there's a bunch of plates here no 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 these, these are discs with me we, we hurl them there's no canapes on no. those. And what are these giant anal beads? No, I, 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 I yeet them. They're not love eggs. <laughs> Guys, you know, it's age in Rome. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, then we're all, well, you don't need to cover any of this up. Yeah. It explains why the horses are here. No, no, no. We... <laughs> Well, would you, if back in the, I have a routine in my uh, show about the Gladiator, the, about the Coliseum, I think it would have been so good to go and watch it actually take place. Like if there was, if there was a Coliseum nowadays, do you think you would have the stomach to go? Yeah. 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 Like You never on. know it's wrong until pages down the history book. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, There's yeah, probably yeah. a lot of things we're doing right now. People yeah, like, but I mean, knowing what you know now, do you think, like, if they, if if there was just part of the world, right, where if, like, let's say India just went, fuck it, let's go mental. We're bringing back Coliseum fighting. Right, We're right. doing it, right? We're doing it in, like, a Hunger Games-style thing. It's awful, and it's all the worst things of what the old Coliseum was. It's, like, promising freedom. It's all that. But it's people getting into fights with animals and each other to the death. Obviously, are you watching it? I'd have to. I'd have to have have a look every Friday, <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure it was wrong. <laughs> I gotta keep checking because you know what? Hey, sometimes people change. Sometimes rules are slightly altered, and it changes the whole thing. It's not as bad. So every week, I watch. I write a letter saying how horrible it is. I, I update them my letter, up- and then I watch the week after. Hoping they read my letter. I updated the blog. 
I, I I set the rankings. I have my own rankings. <laughs> <laughs> you start the betting. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I I watch the um, I watch the Pakistani version. That they it's it's on before it, yeah, yeah. and then the Indian one comes <laughs> on, the and then there's some regional stuff out of Kazakhstan that I I, take, I keep an eye on. I don't watch every match, but I, oh, I'm no. most of them. <laughs> I I got I got my favorites and I collect the cards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean these tattoos could be anybody. <laughs> Um, I I th- I think I would make such a very uh, knowing who I am as a person. I think I would make a very big point on this podcast and very publicly about how disgusting it was. And then yeah. I would have a second phone. <laughs> <laughs> I would have I would have a second phone and lots of diarrhea every Friday, <laughs> right about the same time while I watched it in the bathroom. Well. Do I just, know? I'm at the, I, I, I want to blame on like my nihilism. I'm just like, I think the world's going to end within my lifetime. So I'm like, part of me is like, oh, don't do it here. Don't do it with. Yeah, not in the nice part. Not in the, not in, not in the, <laughs> not in the part of the world where I convince myself that nothing bad happens. Yeah, yeah. Because if you did it here, I'd have to attend, and then <laughs> you couldn't watch it online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if yeah, if you do it in Scotland, I have, to, I'm gonna have to find like a man. Yeah, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Oh, if they asked me to host it now. There we go. It's a job. I have a child. Yeah, yeah. I have to do it. And 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 also I think if I'm part if if I'm one of the cogs in the machine, then I can change the system. For better. If I'm in there and they trust me, look, let's say I just do like a really good job for five years Mm -hmm. and it looks like I'm really into it. Like it looks like I fucking love this job. Deep cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. I keep promising that like all of my wages are going to go to like the families Mm. of the people involved in this horrible thing. Whoever they may be. (laughs) Whoever they may be. But here's the thing. They're, They're orphans. Fa- it, orphans, fam, who knows yeah, what words whatever. mean? And it turns out when they do have family, by some cruel twist of fate, their family are then randomly drawn into the same I show. Know. It's, I know. It's, 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 it happens so often. <laughs> Something must be done. <laughs> My favorite part of this is this is the first episode of the podcast since I got married, so there are definitely people who've tuned in just to hear it. St- <laughs> Just us doing a really horrific bit about <laughs> New World Indian Hunger Games. We haven't even talked about the worms yet. No, no, <laughs> no, we haven't. It's, so uh, uh, we have, since for the past two weeks, we've had lots of people staying in our house. Dun, dun, dun! Lots and lots of people. Yeah, it's uh, a mystery. Um. Uh, and you, you, I, I woke up this morning, not woke up this morning, I was downstairs making my son breakfast this morning, and Jean, one of the guests who's staying in our house, she's been in Italy for a week. Mm-hmm. Took a picture. Of the mark book. that down. Yeah. Italy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Clue, so. Clue, Clue number oh. one. <laughs> Jean said a video to me <laughs> of at the bottom of our toilet bowl, there'd been a worm. And like, mm. not, and, and like not, a, not a garden worm, Oh no! It's a. It was a a bamboo worm. worm. It looks like a bamboo, but it's a long. It's a long one. It was the longest one long I'd one. seen. Longest one I've ever seen. Because I, I when I was young, I think when I was about like ten or eleven, I had worms, and they were very small worms. I remember seeing yeah. those little, little white things. This was way bigger worm than that. Mm. So Gene is like, "Hey, don't mean to alarm you, but like, could this be yours or Kara's?" I mean, we're like, we have an ensuite, so we don't shit in that toilet. No. It's a gross toilet. It's where we grow our worms. It's where, it's where, we, grow, it's where we grow our worms. Our worms. <laughs> but because we had so many people staying at our house, like the night before, before we all went down to the wedding, we had people babysitting Kaylin, we had people staying there since. About, the toilet's been used by, I'm going to say, minimum eight people. Yeah. Well, what you need well, to how, do. But what do you do? You did a good thing. You did a very good thing. Uh, something I never would have fucking done. You went upstairs for a shower, and then two minutes later, you came back downstairs, and I thought that was wrong with the shower, and you went, hey, not to alarm you, but somebody in your family has worms. There's one in the bottom of the toilet, and I told you that story. Uh, man, if, if if somebody else, if there was a worm in somebody else's toilet, I would have taken that to my fucking grave. If there was blood in somebody else's toilet, I would have been like, 
I don't want to have that conversation with someone. That's yeah. a well, I I felt I did it correctly you though. Did? I didn't. I did, You know, I didn't pull the uh, the alarm in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the security alert. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't come downstairs going. Who says yeah, yes? Excuse me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> don't make me measure it. <laughs> Everyone get out their butthole. I'll sniff. I'll sniff you. I can sniff a worm. I got a five-year-old. I got, you, you, you're not going to get away. <laughs> yeah. No, you did it. You did it in a very, uh, very, very cooth, uh, very caring, nice, discreet way. Again, also not how I would have done it. But I never would have brought it up. I don't think I, I don't see it as confrontation, yeah. but. Just, what you need to do mm -hmm. is um, you need to anti-back all of the, um, Toilet, like where you flush, and the um, and bleach it. Yeah, anti back or bleach. Okay, you know, it's the same thing. Uh, but the uh, where you wash your hands too, because it'll the eggs will be on the uh, flush and the um, the faucets. Jesus, and that's that's how they continue their journey through life. Oh, so Jesus, yeah, Christ. and somebody needs to take a pretty hefty worm pill. Yeah, like I, I, I'm, I was, you know what, I, I would double up. Those uh, are pretty big worms. I would say, well, it looked like it ate the other worms. It was like an inch long. I know. I didn't realize they wriggled around in the bottom of the toilet like that either. No. Because like, so, so, so it's definitely a worm. It's not like, I mean, I don't know where else fucking oh, yeah, could it be. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I've had that kind of worm before. Oh, really? And that was... Um, as big that, as that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But I, what happened, and you'll remember the show that this came from, because uh, I, I ended up doing a whole big show on it. Um, I got stuck in customs in Indonesia and cause they said they found cocaine oh, yes. on my hands. Um, and they were like, it's like, it's heavy there. Like they can kill you yeah. if they think you're a smuggler. Uh, and they had me in the back room and that it was real, really intense. And, uh, they fight like, they, <laughs> they, they found one of my, uh, I was still when I was travel with, uh, uh CDs, mm -hmm. they found one. And they were like, are you a singer? <laughs> and uh, I was about to say, no, I'm a comedian. But then I realized that that album had cocaine gland on it. Like all my fucking jokes about <laughs> yeah. cocaine. It's like a 20 minute thing. So I didn't want them to put the album on. And I was like, yeah, I'm a singer. And he's like... Oh, can you say? <laughs> oh, my love, oh, my kissing. You don't know what you've been missing. Oh, boy, come on, everybody. Every, every time every time you slap oh, your leg, like, cold clouds coming off. <laughs> Hold on, I just need a little, little tooth key. <laughs> my, my confidence is low. <laughs> I can't perform without this stuff. It's like, it's like singing powder. <laughs> but, uh... So they are they they're convinced to that, and they're finally like uh, they were like the guy like leveled with me, and he's like, "Glenn, do you take drugs?" And I was like, "No, I do not." You know, maybe I was a little sort of messed up when I was younger, maybe, but I, I threw all that now. I don't I don't touch it. It's bad like that. And the guy was like. Like yeah, he, he felt he felt like a Christian hearing what he wanted to hear, <laughs> and, yeah. and obviously you know uh, Indonesia probably not a Christian, but <laughs> I'm a religious person. Yeah. So um, he he then went okay, and he called all his buddies back in the room, and he put the glove on, and I was like, after my lie, you're gonna, and he lubed his finger all up. And that's when I remembered I had worms. I'd wipe my bum on the plane and a worm would come out. It'd so, come out? Yeah. Yeah, they do. If you're in full bloom, that, well, that's how that <laughs> worm had got out. I, yeah, you can wipe your bum and it'll, you know, sometimes they're Well, like wriggling. it's just coming out like a little fucking under, fucking what's the, an under periscope? Too. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's, like it's probably just close to your bum hole and then gets a, you know, airplane to toilet paper, too. That's not the smoothest ride. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably will hook into the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, cro oh I got worms. Oh, uh, what, how, what good could possibly come of this? Two hours later in customs, the guy's lubing it up, and I just went, uh, like that. And he was like, 
Because nobody had ever smiled. Yeah, he's like, homosexuality is illegal too, by the way. Yeah, well, stop you lubing be- your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of lube for a guy who don't like gay sex. That's, all I'm, that's what I've noticed. Yeah. I told you to spit on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We don't need the lube. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bite the pillow going dry. <laughs> But I realized he was about to get a handful of worms. And just by that little Mona Lisa, like, like that, he, he stopped. And his buddies even were like, what are, you, yeah. what are you doing? You have to look at his bum. And he just went, get out of here. <laughs> he, and I didn't tell him about the worms. He just, he read me like a poker player. <laughs> he was like. There's something in there. <laughs> and I'm not going to like it. <laughs> my buddies are watching. I don't want to get caught with worm finger the rest of my life. So. <laughs> and I, that's where how I got all that cocaine into belly. <laughs> <laughs> I wrapped it in worms. Oh, man. Jesus. I mean, the most traumatic part of that story for me, oh, I mean, don't get me wrong, it would give me the fucking... The fear of all fears to ever like, ever have any drugs going near any of those countries is yeah. always because they're not they they are so openly like Singapore is like ask us how we got this city so clean yeah. <laughs> ask us ask us how we got this city so safe and you're like I don't want to know I don't want to know you're like goddamn right you don't know <laughs> do we need to remind you of any of the rules you're like not at all no I, no. I like the rules I the rules hate chewing gum so much <laughs> I think it's such a gross off eye <laughs> yeah um, I know where is where is man, and it does work so like I would never like, man, I've done I've done drugs in like countries that you shouldn't do drugs in right I've done drugs in Russia I've done drugs in like parts of Europe where it's definitely not uh, allowed. I've done, um, I've, I've, I've never done it in Singapore because I'm not an idiot. And when I was in India, I was like, I'm not fucking risking it. No, I'm not risking it there. Anywhere where they're gonna, where it's here in the UK, where it is still fucking illegal, you order it to your door, like yeah, like for the put like I just I I I still I I still don't understand how this like. I was just not legalized. I'd in this do a country. bump off a cop's hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, officer, come here. Hold on. <laughs> just hold still. You know the rules. You you have to you have to take it off to let a pregnant woman pee in it. That's one of the old laws. And the other one is if I needed to do a bump off of, you have to give that to me. Thank you, you very much. You bring phone boxes back or you do your job. <laughs> Get over here, bump hat. <laughs> come on. Get out that little baton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need the baton. Okay. Yeah. Right, I want you to put it all the way along the baton. I want to stay still. I want you to hold a nostril and I want you to yank it. Yeah. I call it the Coke typewriter. Stop looking Ding. at me. <laughs> Stop Woo! looking at me. Stop looking at me like that. It is what 999 is for. <laughs> and when I need you again, I will call you again. <laughs> Fine, I will take a slap on the wrist. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whereas if you sing Young and Wild and Free in Singapore, they will hang you by your fucking toenails yeah. and throw stones at you for a week. Well, like any of those places, man, you just get, um, like they they take a real interest. Like I was in China and after one of the shows, this dude was hanging out with uh, like uh, with all the other comics. He was a Chinese guy, and his name he said his name was Achilles, which is not a it's not your that's not a local name. It's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't say like, "Oh, my friend Achilles is coming over." Oh, what part of China is he from? <laughs> I would go. What year is he from? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I know where to attack him. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so I automatically had a bit of, uh, and but he was hanging out, and uh, he was uh, he was cracking jokes. He was really funny, mm-hmm. really funny. But um, my father, uh, as a younger man, was a police officer, mm-hmm. and I grew up around police officers, and I know, I I can tell you when someone's a cop, even mm-hmm. if they haven't said it, I know it. Oh yeah. 
What so, is it? Is it like just body language? Just like- uh, but general demeanor. Um, even like in their civvies, they still sort of, they still are in their uniform on, almost, yeah. even in civilian clothing. And there's just a little thing. And, and it's not like uh, cops are really funny when they're, um, when they're around each other. But when they're not, the, you know, um, it's just a couple of little things you pick up on. And it's, it's, sort, of, uh, it's sort of universal because uh, at the heart of it, most people who become police officers are doing it for a good reason. Mm-hmm. You know? And then there's, there's certainly ones that aren't. But there's just little things you can... And he was, he was a good cop, but, um, he, you know, this, he hadn't presented himself as such. <laughs> he had presented himself as an amateur comic named Achilles from Nanjing. <laughs> and, um, uh, so he's talking, he's talking, but then things are... The, the conversation's going off, because the other guys are uh, Westerners. The other, the other, like, there are other comics that live there, and the guy that owned the bar was a Westerner. They're starting to go in. They're, they're talking about stuff you shouldn't talk about in China. And I'm not, like, overthrowing the government, but just drugs and shit. Like, it's really serious. So, Achilles goes up to take a piss, and I stop the guys. I go, just so you know, that guy's a cop, and be careful. Because, uh-huh. um, you know, they, they, they do that. Like, I've, I've had it before in other uh, countries where they're just like, hmm, fuck that guy. Uh <laughs> So, but everybody starts laughing at me, like they were fucking, they were ripping the shit out of me. He came back to the table, and uh, they're still teasing me. And he sits down, he takes a sip of his beer, and they're like, uh, "Oh, Kelly, you, you may take interest in this. Uh, Glenn thinks you're a police officer." And he was like, "He was like, hey. he said, uh, who told you I was a cop?" <laughs> who said who thinks I'm a cop like that and they were like no like it was just like a, a joke yeah, okay um I need to go yeah. <laughs> are we all gonna leave <laughs> honestly boom come on <laughs> I was sitting there like so uh, where do you think he's going boys <laughs> 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 but, and it's not it's not even um it's not that bad of a thing i've had it in singapore too remember did you ever meet atherton oh fuck yes uh, yeah unfortunately <laughs> yeah well that's how i knew that that kind of thing happens because fucking... so to try and explain jonathan atherton and go and go as hard as you want here <laughs> like, no, it's like, I, 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 I don't have man. anything truly awful to say about him but i am going to be Honest about who and what he is. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> it's it's probably true, but but just on on he he was my friend. He's no longer with us, and I yeah, think that's why Daniel's able yeah. to tell some of these stories. No, 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 no. <laughs> he was this. He he was like an expat who lived out in. And I don't think it was just. It wasn't just fucking uh, Kuala Lumpur, Bali. It was. It was all. It was. A, he moved around. Yeah, he did radio in Singapore. He was Aussie guy. Aussie guy. He ran all these gigs out there for expats, and they were really good gigs. And there's just this type of person in comedy, and you'll find it everywhere, who are really good at putting on gigs in different parts of the world, but for some fucking reason insist on going on stage themselves <laughs> for five or ten minutes before the real comedians who they booked and flew from the other side of the world. And I've seen this happen in Switzerland. I've seen this happen in Singapore. I've seen this happen in Australia. I've seen it happen in Europe. It happens. So people be like, I've put on this successful gig. I booked these comedians, therefore I must... And Jonathan Arthur would just go on and just tell these like... And look, he lived a fucking mental life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he would go on stage and just tell these mental stories, which were, I think were highly exaggerated at points. A comedian? <laughs> yeah. It's an exaggerated... Daniel, yeah. come on, come now. Yeah. <laughs> was it, but, yeah. Okay, and he was also... That is the thing, to be fair to me, he was, a, he, he was a comedian, but he was that type of Aussie comedian that exists. And this is another... Me and Kai always laugh at this. There's Aussies that never make it in the Australian comedy scene. So go to another part of the world and just start a comedy scene there. 
They're like, oh, I'm not going to make it here. I'll just go start one in Taiwan. Hey, I'm the king of the Taiwan second. Yeah. Uh, we as Canadians have just. a backpack and a joke book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking crawl, crack yeah. this nut somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, Aussies tend to hit uh, Asia for comedy, whereas Canadians always make their way over to the UK a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, for me, it was part of the heritage. Like, yeah. I, the work permit is, um, is much easier. Cause, uh, oh, because yeah. the Commonwealth, of course. I... No, not the Commonwealth, but oh. my grandmother was from Northern Ireland. So, Oh. Yeah, I'm going to get my Irish passport. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, wait, uh, but no, the Northern Irish passport, or you can get the real one? Yeah, No, yeah. if you're Northern Irish, you get that. They don't look at it the way we look at oh, it. Oh, <laughs> what, what a very British thing I just did there. No, <laughs> like, but, that's, but that's our Ireland. So. <laughs> <laughs> So why would they have their passport? And do I'm I sorry, receive some sort Irish of people. tithe from you having a passport? I think I do. Oh, God. It's the most Tory I've ever been. I'm so disgusted at myself. Thank God Cullen wasn't here to see that. Oh, he'll hear about it. He'll hear. Uh, uh, I apologize yeah, so, to all of our listeners from the worst Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to insult your history. <laughs> the lower Ireland. Uh, yes, despite being Ireland. higher geographically. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was, uh, it was. the paperwork is easier. The American paperwork's really expensive and really prohibitive mm. to a young comic. Yeah. And even if you were going over the border, say, just to do amateur nights in the States, they, they will stop you. So you have to... Really? Yeah, they're like, oh, no, that's working, that's working. You can't, can't come down here and do that. That's, that always feels like, I'm like, but I'm just, I'm like, if I was performing in a theater, that would make sense, but I'm going to be in a pub performing to seven fucking cunts. I know. Surely. Like, I I'm know. not even getting paid. Like, surely. I wasn't even going to tell you about this 20 bucks anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, you were never going to hear about this. It's like I was never, you wouldn't stop me coming into this bar to drink and talk. And that's all. Uh, was... they have. Yeah. <laughs> If they knew you. <laughs> Are you just going to come back in and tell the same stories as you did yeah. last week? <laughs> no, no. I, I worked on them. Yeah. <laughs> I practiced them in front of a mirror. <laughs> well, that's creepier. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. Go back to your mirror. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it was just easier to, to come here. But Did you start in Canada? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had, How uh, old? <coughs> 19. 19, yeah, 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 good. Yeah, as soon as I could. I was like... Were, were you... How how good were you starting? Or how long... And if not good, how long did it take you to get good? And your definition uh, of good? Yeah, I, the, my, the show went really well, the yeah. first one. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, this was more to do with... Um, having a car then you know but i was 19 i had a car i didn't have anything else to do i didn't have a job or anything um are they, oh maybe i was delivering chinese food but anyway um by uh about two months in i was getting road gigs mm -hmm. which you know like you have to those are not easy at all it was the perfect baptism of fire but also like uh, canadian road gigs are very different to british road gigs where it's like you know british road gigs are i'm going to drive two hours to well one hour to glasgow or four hours to manchester or yeah as opposed to 15 <laughs> to fort st john but i mean that's what that's what helped me out because um only like a 19 year old with nothing else to do like you know but even in canada like a lot of the people that age would be in university and not be able to yeah. do it i was just i just had cut myself off from any other but you know yeah, it was yeah, actually yeah. quite a responsible thing to be doing like well at least he's not laying on the what, couch and what, masturbating what, what, what are you doing what are you, what are what are you doing for 15 hours in a fucking car on the way to a gig a fedrin <laughs> <laughs> it's that uh a no, it's a, it was a uh, yeah it was it was mother's little helper for many many years it, it, it it's illegal now but it's um anything it, called mother's little helper 
pre two thousand is illegal now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was uh, arguably uh, good. It was a herbal remedy for um, uh, allergies, <laughs> and that's and that's why we had to sniff it. <laughs> Well, we, you, you could, you could, <laughs> um, but uh, you now um, it is. It would be better known now as the final stage of uh, speed before it come becomes crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yeah, and they were totally legal. Uh, a big, big jug of them when uh, you know and you could just walk into any shop. And it was, I mad think, that those, that fucking, Jesus Christ, like, mothers were, obviously, parents were taking that and just raising their kids. There's an entire generation of kids that were just raised by parents on speed. Yeah. Who were not even, and not even in the way that, like, kids who are, like, parents are normally on meth or speed are aware that their parents are junkies, just like, well, the doctor gave me this. <laughs> no, the doctor and wasn't and even involved. No. It was, the, like, the herbal shops, you know, like, oh, the ones so this is like on the fucking... Oh, so this is, like, when we fucking did fucking Meow Meow all those yes. years. Ah, understood. And oh. everybody kept it down, too. It was really cool, because usually... God, yeah. You know, this, uh, the drug has hit the streets and everybody knows about it because we could all get it. Nobody nobody said shit. It was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. but it was strong enough that it it, it was um, like, it, it, was, uh, it, it was on par to coke. Like, if you <laughs> took enough of it, it was strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd yeah. be like, I could make this 15-hour drive, a 12-hour drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just let me slam my feet through the bottom of the car and I'll get us there like Fred Flintstone. Yeah. We were having a... Sorry to take a slight uh, right turn here, but I do want to discuss it with you. Um, I did that thing where we were having a conversation and because we had a podcast coming up, I was like, don't talk about it. Yes. Save it for the podcast. <laughs> Um, you have two children. I do. A age five and two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have one child, age 15 months. Uh, we are aiming to sort of probably have another baby within the next two years. I have a routine in this year's show about how I want to have three kids uh, and Kara want to have two, and this is true. But now that we've seen what happens with childbirth and pregnancy and with how good he is now and how easy I want to stop at one and she wants to have four now. Um and then we got talking about the vasectomy. You would you wouldn't you don't you don't want it at all? You never I don't would. Want it. No, 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 why no. not? Because of the pain? So because things. it doesn't make you a man? Because the, Yeah, the, but what what's the talk me through it? What what happens if there's a disaster <laughs> and <laughs> the last one left <laughs> and all these beautiful women are like, Glenn, humanity needs uh, oh, I got just lie to them. That's right. That's right. Just That's lie what you to do. All of them. Yeah. And blame it on them. Oh, <laughs> Did you have coffee? To, yeah, you're not supposed to have coffee. Maybe you didn't give me enough back rubs. <laughs> maybe, maybe the amount of pressure on me is so much. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And Thank then you. like three years in, I've worked it all, girls. Sodomy will not work. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I read the book wrong. I got it right in the wrong. We'll so go. It, we'll move to the mouth. <laughs> It turns out we've been wasting our time. And nobody's more embarrassed about it than me. I can just I can Boy, crawl my... in a hole and die. Get, get, get over here. Let's get, we are behind schedule. Get your mouths over here, girls. Yeah. We got to repopulate this planet. Do you know, I had a terrible thought, and you might want to edit this out. No, 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 we'll keep it I, in. For whatever reason, when I saw that worm wriggling in your toilet, <clears throat> I thought to myself, what do those bum worms make of sodomy? <laughs> <laughs> like every once in a while, they're just in there, and then the giant white worm is back. <laughs> 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 Please drench us with your mama. (laughs) 
the prophecies foretold. <laughs> Just like etching. <laughs> You can think of a prostate exam. The guy's like, I can't feel any tumors or growth here, but there seems to be hieroglyphs in the wall <laughs> predicting the return of some big black god. <laughs> <laughs> with that was only once on vacation. <laughs> shh, yeah, she's like, shh, a white god. It was a white god. <laughs> <laughs> There's another prophecy about some sort of five small head <laughs> god comes in as one, blossoms into five, the Hydra. <laughs> Fact, well, you know, ass words lie. They don't. Even now, it's worshiping my little finger. It's some sort of mouth of Sauron that's just coming. To... <laughs> You're right. I think we should cut that out. <laughs> It's crucial that we do. Yeah, I think we'll maybe sell it to Dead Man Talking. No, <laughs> uh, no, we'll keep it. Keep it. <laughs> so what? So so. Oh, what do you want? It's already sold. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn, Quinn's been listening the whole time. <laughs> I can't wait to see what type of pedophile joke he turns it into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ready the worms are juvenile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not interested. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's just not it's just not for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, your last man standing survivor's guilt. Out of the way, that's one reason why you don't want to get up for safety. Yeah. Me. Is it? I don't like the idea of a man stabbing me in the dick. That, and, hey. uh, even he's he's trained. He knows what he's doing. First, they stab you in your dick, and then they burn you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to. You have been given that penis. It's your responsibility. <laughs> that is true, yeah. You have been handed that penis by the failing hands of the past generations. Yeah. And they say, take that, take care of that, because there's more of us in there. <laughs> and they gotta, they gotta, you gotta give them the best chance in life. And then no place does it like, but you know, when things are a little much, just fucking twist a knot in it like a balloon. No! <laughs> but it's like, I... Look, the surgery side of things I absolutely get. For me, the only way I would get it, I gotta be unconscious. I'm like, I don't give a... Like, I don't care what your rules are. Like, we're like, oh, but we can numb the area. Doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah. matter if I feel... Numb. Numb. <laughs> numb it all. <laughs> like, man, wait... Hey, you know what? Leave the legs on. <laughs> if you need to. Don't let me up, though. <laughs> my legs... I know what the brain thinks. The legs might be... No! <laughs> Generations of slosses. They run. They run for the fields. <laughs> yeah, just my top half fully unconscious, but my legs just reacting to the second the first knife goes in. Running around <laughs> like a fool. <laughs> like legs working top half. <laughs> We put this thing by the highway. <laughs> Stop shooting him in the head! We've numbed us! It's not gonna do it for his fucking Achilles! Hata! <laughs> Hata! Achilles the cop, like, what do you need? Huh? <laughs> The nurse, it's Achilles. I'm not the no. police officer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you'd have to you'd have to be fully conscious. Like I'm a firm believer. If I I told my dentist, I'm like, if you ever need to take any teeth out, that's a mere sleep job. Like that's, and I'll pay whatever the money is. Yeah. Under, under the table, over the table, I'm unconscious for any surgery, no matter how big or small. Yeah, yeah. I I I got this tooth out, and I um I just figured it'd be like you know, just. But no, I, I was glad I went. Because, you know, you get well, people so, so like, you can do it at home, you know. Oh, you yeah, yeah, we've all seen Cast Away. You just get a rock, <laughs> an ice skate, and a duck. 
But no, like he was. I think he's. I think he used to be in the military too, because he's got that sort of. But he was a like, Jesus Christ like that, and the fuck, and then he had to split it and oh, fuck all of that. Like our friend Hammy was telling me that like when he got his, uh, um. I, this was also in America, by the way. I think this is important for context. He was getting one of his fucking molar state with wisdom teeth taken out and they sort of numbed the area. And the guy went in with like fucking pliers to get them when it wasn't coming out, split it and had to get to the point where he had like a knee on Hammy's chest, like yeah. on top, and was just pulling like that. And you're like, what the fuck, man? Do that while I'm unconscious. <laughs> like, come on. Knock me out for all of it. Maybe yeah, they don't want they may they want you up. So if you if you wake up a little battered and bruised, they're like, "You were up, you saw, you saw." Yeah, we're yeah, taking yeah, a yeah, tooth yeah, out. Yeah, 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 it's fine. What 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 is my butt hurt? <laughs> I, I look, the, a prophecy was foretold. <laughs> I wanted to see if there were any other tablets elsewhere. <laughs> I'm worried about this big black god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you should just said, it. yeah, <laughs> Jesus, I also worried. <laughs> See, I would, I would, I would get vasectomy just because fucking condoms are just the worst, man. They really are. They but, really but are. you like you got like I'm I, I say that as somebody that man we're wearing them carries off the uh, the the pill uh, uh, at the moment so we're we're a condom fucking household I'll do that with no complaints he said complaining but just as a, <laughs> I'm doing it like in the same way that you know she was on the pill for years I just can't believe after fucking two thousand years we've barely fucking improved the condom no like, there's, like there's no like magic fucking spray that you can just spray on the top. Makes it. Yeah, but it's the testing of these sprays. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. And you Men are even... very rarely willing to be guinea pigs with their own cocks. Yeah. Well, and that's no, why I mean, science like, very like, rarely... But it's the same reason why you can't uh, get any medicines for pregnant women. It's not that those medicines won't, wouldn't work. It's just they can't test. They can't do medical tests on pregnant women, no matter what sort of refugees they may be. <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> huh? We all paying attention? You can't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, but in the same way, like if you were doing, uh, testing birth control, <laughs> somebody got pregnant, then you're like, you're like oh. well, that's. And they didn't want, if they didn't want to have the abortion, then you'd probably have to pay. I don't, I don't know. We I think are, that's why, that's why we like. We are, we are, we are a super pro abortion household, this household. Oh, I think, yeah. Like we've got, we, we, we got my. Oh, weekend. I think you should have to want one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't just, just inflict them on people. No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> not you. Not, no. <laughs> uh, but it's fine when God does it. Mm. Um, <laughs> you fucking sky rapist yeah. saying it to the cameras if God's watching this and if he is he's watching via this and not uh, um, he, could, he could have it on two feeds <laughs> <laughs> I live just, and on a thing I just feel like there's nothing would make you could show me God you could show me the real God but if he was watching anything on his iPhone I'd be like what <laughs> but sh surely you whatever you're watching you saw that's the, I'm like I don't believe that, that would be the my God first clue. The you would be seeing would be the same as the worm <laughs> seeing the huge dick. <laughs> you, you would think, yeah, but it would be your God. But you get to the bottom of it, and it's just some fucking dick from middle management. <laughs> like you think that was God? No. Oh, okay. Um, my, uh, yeah. So uh, condoms suck so much to the point where I'm like, I would absolutely take dick surgery to go bareback for the rest of my God-given life. Yeah. Like yeah. That's, that, that to me is a worthy sacrifice. And if she's, you know, I know she could do it on her end, but if she's, well, what can they do on their end? Yeah, she's not wanting to get hers tied in because she wants kids. So she's never going to shut that. I got to shut this down at some point. Yeah. I got to take it out back like an old fucking farm dog. Old, yeah. I got to <laughs> I gotta hold them. I got to look him in the eye. I'd be like, you Why don't me? you get your... Uh, we had some fun, okay. <laughs> you and me, boy. Why don't you Man. get that big guy that you could travel the countryside with to, 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 to <laughs> pet it like to a strang rabbit. strangle it for one last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
that's what we were doing. Uh, uh, he was just uh, uh, George. Yeah, you guys been going around the barn again to uh, <laughs> have another vasectomy? <laughs> yeah, that's what I didn't take. Uh, <laughs> I also feel like if you, if in my head, and I will, please bring this up in the future in 15 years when I do get vasectomy or whatever we fucking decide. <laughs> um, I feel getting a vasectomy absolutely entitles you to a week, if not a week, maybe like two or three days, where you absolutely get to act like a child who's had his tonsils out. Yeah. Like I think, if you get your vasectomy because like you can't move much, it's major surgery. Did you want some ice cream? No, no, but I. <laughs> <laughs> what is she? What is she denying you of? No, in no. There? no, but I mean in the sense of like you're allowed to be on the couch for like two days. You days are. Somewhere. You need to be. You need to. So it's like that thing of like, hey, I did that. You can just you get to binge watch a show that she'd never fucking. You know, you, you you get to be like a present family member, but the laziest version of it. Yeah, you don't have to contribute your fifty percent. You're down to ten percent because a doctor gave you a letter that said you could be down at ten percent for three days. And I know you think you've never seen God, but <laughs> look the way that the way that that works out uh-huh. is there is intelligent design there because if women got vasectomies uh-huh. and their husbands just got to walk around, you know, within the first hour, we'd be trying to give our wives hard on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, does it, does hurt? it hurt when I do that? Stop! Oh, God, women, they just can't take jokes. Jesus, they're so up to... You're staring my tits, stitching! Oh. Are you live streaming this? <laughs> Well, I would, I would honestly, I, would, I expect if I ever get a to me, I'll come home like a fucking, like a war veteran who lost like two legs expecting that exact type of fucking sympathy. Because you still come. You still come. It's just there's no, I just don't do anything. It's not like you. Well, where are they going then? Yeah. And also, what is it if there's not, like, what, I, I've never understood that, like, you still make come, but like, what's in it then? Do they, have, just like, have all their tails been cut off? Yeah. And they're just boo like, boo. No, but the, uh, but there's. I'd imagine it mean that there'd be no sperm in it, just the the sauce. You're gonna need to. The, you're gonna need to explain jism to me. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, from what I know about vasectomies, there is a little tube uh-huh. that gets cut out, and then they burn the end. <sighs> they cauterize yeah. the wound, so nothing. And just with a cigarette, I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, it's harder now because they vape. (laughs) (laughs) Smells like fucking cheesecake in here. (laughs) It's it's better better than the alternative. (laughs) (laughs) If if you want, I can see if they do this flavor. Burning ball here. <laughs> I can't imagine trying to get Cot- that as a vape yeah, flavor. Do you have any uh, cauterized scrot? <laughs> How about freshly burned skin of those bald cats? Do you have that as a as a flavor? Why? What do you mean I'm weird? <laughs> oh sure, I'll give you my fingerprints. Well, I just need to do this. All right, well, fair enough. Another register. <laughs> Now I know why they call it a criminal record. Because <laughs> we're going for gold, baby. <sighs> um, yeah, so I, I reckon what happens, there's a sauce that the sperm swim in. Uh-huh. And, and, and you keep that. making the sauce. You must still make the sauce, but the tube that the sperm are supposed to go up hmm. is is is. Gone. So, but my question is, those sperm, where do they go? Sperm. <laughs> when they die? or just... No, the ones that can't get up the tube. Are they just in there? Yeah, I think they die and then fall, like, fall back down and become food for the other sperm on their way past. So what if you make like a super sperm that's just in there, like a Highlander, <laughs> eating all the other sperm? <laughs> like he busts through the tube. Right? <laughs> 
he busts through like the cauterized thing and and when you're fucking your wife 10 years later you feel it <laughs> like, he's banging oh, my oh my god what the hell he's loose <laughs> He just comes carried by all these worms. <laughs> Why well, we kept trying to go to the light, what we didn't realize we needed to go deeper, deeper towards the darkness where the Jewish. <laughs> Launch him through the fucking ship <laughs> out there. All of your wife's tears. <laughs> no! <laughs> I've been wasted! <laughs> wasted! Flipping around like a minnow. <laughs> I don't think we should put that in the toilet. <laughs> Glenn's gonna think we've got worms. <laughs> Morning, I'd have to come down and get uh, Daniel. <laughs> get a little white super sperm. I'm gonna swim it all around your toilet. I don't know. Uh, yeah. He's someone in your family. <laughs> How'd you know it was mine? He flipped me off and called me a slur. Uh, uh, yeah. Flush it, flush it, flush it. Wash your hands and flush it. <laughs> oh well that's that's more fun than I've ever had with any episode with Kai yeah <laughs> I hear that a lot <laughs> I didn't know you spend that much time with Natalie <laughs> that's why I don't want to get a vasectomy <laughs> uh, what to remind me of the name Two Egypts is your podcast Egypts of the World Egypts of the World no, it's not about us being Egypts oh, <laughs> oh oh shit I might just project and just... Yeah. Uh, yeah we every week we find uh, me and Andrew Maxwell find different idiots in the news or within our own lives or uh, just just people that are um, little little dense mm. and not all the time like that you know we, talk, we don't go down to care homes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at him, like he used to have a PhD <laughs> Now look at him. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> he can't even eat soup. <laughs> yeah, if you're ever in Cambodia, stay out of the pharmacy. <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> Fried his brain. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, and uh, it is the one um, inexhaustible resource that this world provides us with is you can be pretty sure on a weekly basis about eight people have been absolute dorks. Now, sometimes it's the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. World leader-wise, Putin's, um, Putin's sort of like the Elvis of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, geez, that guy's always in the charts. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I thought you were be like, I've always wanted to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> In that I masturbate to him all the time. Yeah, I lost my virginity to the sound of his <laughs> dulcet tones. <laughs> Can we play some music? No! <laughs> we will listen to this speech, because he makes some very valid points about the LGBT community. Things you can't say. Oh, you get you cancelled here, but well, I'm glad he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Russian Voldemort knows what's up. <laughs> Oh. Uh, yeah, and I have an album uh, that has just come out called Tiny Kings of Winter, and that's available in all comedy album places that you listen to that. So between those things and the hour of free comedy I've just uh, provided here with little or no help. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> guy had an ass worm swimming around his toilet. He wasn't going to bring it up. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Um, and between that, an album and a podcast every week, if, if you enjoyed this, I'm, you know, I'm you, bringing it. I'm yeah. providing. Yeah, content. Let me be your comedy daddy. Come on. <laughs> Come on, get in line. Hop on his knee. Come on. There's plenty of room. Open your mouths. we got to repopulate this world. <laughs> I said we'll try and hold number two. I've heard your theories on the vagina, and we'll try it last. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a moonshot, man. A moonshot. <laughs> now lie on your back with the others. <laughs> All of you start kissing. That's part of it. 
Thanks, bud. Thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs>